Hello my friends, welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Shin and welcome to the makings of my colony. Now this is only episode 4, so you know we're still very much in the early days. However, things are going to progress here pretty quickly, I hope. Let's jump in and see what we're going to be building today. Now Mine Colonies is a fickle beast. Basically you get a limited amount of buildings before you have to start attracting more members to your colony. Every building needs a worker except the town hall. So we're going to get going with what we need to build next. We have of course the Builder's Hut, which is the first building we built. And then the second building we built was the Town Hall. Wait, no, that's a lie because the first building we actually built was the Camp. And so going by the regular flow structure of these episodes, it looks like episode 4 means we're building the fourth building. And that is going to be, hmm, you know what, I don't know. Now previously what I've built has been a tavern, because a tavern is a very important part of your colony. Basically a tavern is how you gather new members into your colony without having to breed your colonists with each other. And let's be honest, there's no way Israel wants to get up in Hermione the Ugly's grill because her second name, it's goddamn true. Wait, another mouth to feed? What happened? Oh my god, <laughs> I thought they'd had a baby for a second. Oof. Close call, man. That'd be, that would have been poetic timing, wouldn't it? So what we're doing this episode is we're building a tavern. That's right, a place for us to give our colonists ale and succor. That's succor spelt S-U-C-C-U-R? No, O-R. Not the other one. What's the other succor? I don't know. Probably a rude one. And so we need a place for us to put this tavern. Now where are we going to put our tavern? A tavern kind of wants to be a very central structure. So I feel like right next to our camp here is going to be a good place for it. And in fact, why not right next to the builder's hut in the shadow of these trees? Oh, speaking of these trees, look at that mess up there. Let's get rid of those leaves. So where am I? Okay, up in this tree, and these are the leaves in question. These are the uh, the main offenders. Just get rid of these leaves. And at the center of every leaf problem, there is always a cheeky log that never got cut. There we go. Mischief managed. Problem solved. Let's get back down to earth. So yeah, let's go and grab ourselves a tavern building. Now every building in Mine Colonies starts with you creating one of these basic recipe buildings that you see on the right here. And so what we're looking for is a tavern. In fact, we can probably just type in tavern here, and bam, it's the only one that's here. The tavern. Pretty simple to make. You need oak planks, a barrel, a build tool, and you're done. Right, and now let's try and work out where we're going to place this lucky building. Now, like I said, here looks like a great spot to me, but do we have enough room? And are we going to have to get rid of a couple of trees? That's a big question, isn't it? Well, right click and tavern. Here we go. Now let's get a bit of advantage point so we can see what this thing's going to look like in the end. That's a pretty big building, isn't it? Let's get up on this tree. That looks like a good spot to me. That's what I'm talking about. Amazing. So from here we can see, yeah, there's just about enough room. Now my builder's hut here looks like what it's going to look like at level five. And that's important because we want to get every single building that we have up to level five eventually. So, Acacia is a no-go. Asian, Birch, Caledonian, no thank you. What we're really looking for is like an oak-based build. The Fortress one looks pretty cool. What does a Fortress level 5 tavern look like? Wait, it doesn't go up to level 5. Oh right, yeah, that's right, a tavern stops at level 3. Level 3 is the biggest it gets. But Fortress, it's very ugly, let's be honest. Now here we go, Medieval Oak. Now this looks a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, oh man, yeah, look at this bad boy. Now this is a kind, this is a style I can get behind. This looks like it could be a good spot for the tavern. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, I mean we could go super flush and put them next to each other like that. That might actually be really cool. Let's take a look and see how these join together at the sides. Yeah, there we go. We're going to have a healthy separation 
just because I don't want this statue compressing onto the tavern. So, boom. Hit the kill switch. Go. Bam. Ready to rock. So what's the next step? Well, we click on the building and get the builder to build it. However, there's a lot to change with this landscape. All of this dirt back here is going to need to change and move. So build options, build the building. That's right, you sucker. And Elizriel is going to get to work as soon as he can. So what is this big square that we see while we hold the build tool? Well, this is the border of our colony. Basically, this is how big it's going to be. And as you can see, it's not super huge. In fact, I don't even think we border on the river at this point. But eventually it will be big enough, so don't you worry. So step two of any building is to gather the resources that our builder needs. And, oh my god, andesite. Oh, this could be bad. Well, let's get the rest first. Oak planks, oak log, oak door. And vertical oak. Now, also, I believe I saw white bed in that mix, so we're going to need some white wool. I definitely got some wool earlier. Where did I put the white wool? Oh, I remember. It's in the barrel outside over here. I should really bring these things inside. Oh, in fact, here's a bed. Perfect. There we go. Oh, man, yeah, there's some real juice over here. So, speaking of juice, let's bring some of these tools inside as well. So, we've got, like, a blast furnace. That's going to come in handy. We've got a smithing table, kind of like an upgraded version of the, the anvil. How do we make a smoking oven then? Because I know that's a thing as well. There we go, mischief managed. A couple of smokers. There we go, boom. Also, oh, we've got a composter back here in the background. Oh, amazing. And look at this. We've got a potted jungle sapling, a spruce sapling, and a dark oak sapling. Basically, everything you could possibly need going forwards. Well, okay, let's go and deliver the builder what he needs to get started. How's it going, Israel? So, oh, okay, so he finally needs a new pickaxe. Let's see if we can help him out in that respect. I'll work on it, show me your inventory. And yeah, so he, he won't use stone pickaxes because they're too high level for him. We have to use wooden pickaxes for this dude. And here you go, a couple of wooden pickaxes. That should be all you need to get back to work. But we'll also give him things like the white bed, uh, some vertical things, some torches too, because he needs those. What else did he need? The doors? Yeah, that's right. And we'll kind of leave him to it. Now, we also need andesite. Also, I could be in the most insanely good luck possible, because I think this guy is just... Oh my god. I need andesite, and this guy has just freaking dug some up. Hold the phone, Al Capone. I'm going to dig that for you, because you need this for your building. Legit amazing. I cannot believe how lucky I just got. Okay, so now there's copper in the game, and I've never used copper. I've no idea what it's good for. I mean, color me excited. It sounds pretty cool. One of the coolest things about copper is apparently it can kind of like age. It's orange when you make it, but as you expose it to air, it oxidizes and becomes green, which is very cool. You know, apparently that's why the Statue of Liberty is green. It was made of copper, and then after a while, it just turned green. The color of money. And liberty. Okay, Chief, what do you need now? Oh, you need lots of white beds. I guess we're making some more. So we have some white wool. I don't see any sheep. We'll have to kill some in a minute, because we are going to need some wool. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, so I've got a stone pickaxe now. What I could do is go and dig up some of that iron that we found in the mine earlier. Yeah. Also, check it out. It's not very dark down here. So I think these shaders are kind of not too punishing in terms of making a place dark. Very nice. Now, there's no way for us to get more iron from this iron ore than one ingot per ore. I don't think, at least. Maybe we'll look into it, but I don't think base Minecraft had ore multiplication. But, I mean, it might do. Might be worth a look. Raw iron is used for a block of raw iron. You can blast it into a bar. Cool. You can smelt it into a bar. Oh, wait, of course. We have Create Mod. We can use Create to crush it into even more ore. However, we're not going to do that just yet because Create Mod is behind a lot of different things. It's pretty late game for us, and we are very much still early game. I mean, this is what, episode 4? 
we've got the shears. Let's do it. Let's find ourselves some sheepos. Now, opening up the big map doesn't show us where the animals are. We have to rely on the mini map. And sheep aren't the most common of creatures. So we're also looking for a degree of luck. Ooh, now look at this. We have a wolf. Oh, now this could be this could be our new dog. All we need to do is find a skeleton now to kill, get some bones, and we can tame him. Problem is, where are we going to find a skeleton? I don't see any anywhere. Well, back to the sheep hunt. Oh, look at this. We found the flower biome. Very nice. Oh, I really do love this biome. It's just so nice, isn't it? But don't worry. Eventually, our colony will kind of spread into this zone. It's going to be nice. Coco! Coco! Oh, they're horses. Thought they were crows. Yeah. Hello, my friends. I have come for your... Oh, whoops. Your coats. Give me that sweet, sweet white coats. The old lab coats. Get him a bag of Rooney, mother trucker. Looks like the sun is, yeah, a fair distance from going down over the horizon. I've still got time. I'm still good to go. Snip, 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 mother truckers. I've come for your wool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags brimming full. There we go. 22 is probably plenty, right? Yeah, I reckon for the time being. I mean, how many beds does a tavern need? I don't know about you, but, well, if, firstly, if, you, if you're not from England, you probably don't go to the pub. Well, unless you're Australian. Australians go to the pub as well, right? Otherwise, you call it like an Irish bar. But yeah, they're supposed to be like taverns, like places where you sleep. But in England, I mean, it's not really a thing. You don't really sleep at pubs. Some of them you do, if you get very, very, very drunk, but that's, like, not really encouraged. Last time it happened to me, I got thrown out, at least. Anyway, here we are back at home. Let's make some beds. Bada bing, bada boom. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, beds on the floor. Please make space in my chests slash racks. Not able to dump my inventory. Oh, no, he, this guy needs to take a dump and he can't take a dump. Well, let's alleviate his pain and take some of these artichokes off of his body. So initially I was very excited to add Pam's Harvest Craft because it's one of my favorite mods of all time. And I love making food and building a kitchen for it. It's just really fun. However, it does become a problem when your builder is constantly digging up the seeds and uh, he gets a pack full of little things like one turnip, one artichoke, and it's like, oh my god, my guy. Required resources, oak log. Oh man, wait, this guy needs a lot of oak logs, doesn't he? Man, so I think I'm going to cancel my Netflix. And you know, I know what you're thinking, right? That's a bit of a segue. I'm playing Minecraft here. And you're talking about Netflix, but oh my god, like in my area, it went up to like 15 quid a month. And it's like, when I think about it, I didn't even watch anything on Netflix anymore. So, you know what? I feel like I'm kind of done. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, okay, so we're going to make some strip logs for this guy. Ten hours later, this guy is still digging the dirt. <laughs> but you know what? That's just par for the course, right? And also, it kind of works out. You think, oh my god, it takes him so long to build. But the truth is, it takes me so long to go around and collect the incidentals that I'm kind of glad it's taking him so long to build, you know? There we go. Now, now, one of the big worries for me is the fact that we don't have any guards at all. Wait, what's this? Last resort? Did I... I didn't eat. I fed my citizens rotting... I didn't feed him rotten flesh. What the hell? He just picked some rotten flesh up and decided to eat it. It's not my fault. Oh my god, honestly, if I did a poo on the floor, and then Israel came up and said, Mmm, chocolate log, and then just chowed down, would that be my fault? I don't think so. I mean, maybe I should have picked it up with like a poo bag, like a dog, but no, I, I still feel like I'm justified there. Well, I have all the bits. I just can't put them in. Okay, there we go. So if we give him the stuff manually, he has everything he needs. Now, it is still going to take him a way long time to get through all this, so we're going to help him out. Okay, Chief, what now? I'd really like a house. Yeah, wouldn't we all? But man, in this economy? I mean, now that I've said that, I bet the housing market has just literally crashed the second I said this. So onwards Israel to construct the tavern, a place where adventurers from across the lands can gather, have a pint, 
and then settle down from their life of adventure to actually become a member of our colony. Now what I didn't know about this build is that it kind of submerges half of itself underground and that's actually like a really cool effect. You get a kind of basement with this building. Currently all of our buildings are of course level 1, which means they look very basic. They're just wooden planks, wooden stairs, wooden logs effectively. But for the early game this is really useful because it means we can get these buildings put up with very little stress and woe. But I cannot wait to see what this bad boy looks like at level 3 and I want to make getting my builder's hut to level 3 and the tavern as well a key priority for this colony. Oh baby, and there she is. Oh man, this is a really impressive looking build. Honestly, like, I know that this uh, this theme is only basically oak wood, oak logs, oak planks, oak stairs, and that might seem kind of boring. However, when you level up, the materials get a lot more ambitious, and honestly, the build quality and the design for these buildings is actually really cool. I love how the tavern has like a bottom layer. Like a, ooh, Severus DiCaprio. Fancy seeing you in here again. Hello, my compadre. But the basement has this like really cool dank cellar effect with like coarse dirt and paths and uh, and barrels. And then upstairs, I imagine we have even more patrons, or or do we just have beds? Oh, right, yes. Upstairs we have all of the beds as well. Oh, and it looks like Israel has decided that he lives here. I guess it's pretty close to his office, so that's kind of convenient. And oh man, you know what? This is a really, really, really cool looking build. But you know what, what I think is going to be really fun is decorating the in-betweens of these buildings and, uh, and getting everything looking really nice in between. Because at the moment we have like the tavern, the tavern's kind of on its own, not doing much. Same with the builder's hut, it's kind of just like a, a standalone unit. And also the town hall as well. What I want to do is connect all these up with like some paths, have some flower beds and things and get the whole area just looking really, really, really nice. But the question still remains that we don't have any buildings so far that require a person to work in. We have the builder's hut, yes, and so we have a builder, but we have a whole bunch of colonists just, just not doing anything, just being unemployed and consequently getting unhappy. Old Hermione and Elizabeth, these two ugly mother truckers, are just not getting any fulfillment out of life. I mean, it's not like the modern day where they can be unemployed and just play Skyrim all day. No, these guys have no PlayStations. There, is, there are no video games in this universe. What is even the point in living? I don't know. Well, um, I'm sure they find other fulfilling things to do here alone together in the uh, town hall. <clears throat> yes, well, anyway, uh, who else have we got on the colony then? And of course, yeah, Draco Spoonie, who is wandering around somewhere. In fact, if we look at the map, where is he? Oh, no, he's, uh, he's over there in the tavern as well. Looks like he's found a place to live too. No, wait, that's not Draco Spoonie. That's Severus DiCaprio. Where's old Draco Spoonie? Oh, he's... Wait, what the hell is he doing over there? Yep, it looks like Draco Spoonie has wandered off. And you know what? I'm not going to be surprised when he is the first colonist to die. Now, of course, yeah, I know some colonists died in the first episode because we kind of killed them or we culled them. Or was that the second episode? I can't remember. But that doesn't really count because they weren't real colonists. So what I'm going to do between episodes now is decorate the place between uh, the camp and the buildings, put down some paths uh, and just basically trim up some of this grass and get the area looking a little bit neater, but also help pave the way for our next building. So what is going to be our next building? We have a tavern, builder's hut, town hall. Well, the chat log says I should build a forester or miner. So I think maybe a forester because a forest is going to be very important, right? We need uh, we need wood. I just don't know. I think a warehouse and a courier has to be the next step. So once again, thank you for joining me on this mine colonies journey slash adventure. A big thank you to all of you guys that are subscribed, that have pressed like, that have given me a comment, but also a huge, huge, huge thanks to anybody that is a YouTube member and all of you guys that are subscribed to my Patreon. I've been Stint, and until next episode, take care.